Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day, week, month, year, wherever and whenever it is that you're watching this. Today I'm going to be starting a playthrough of a game called Kenshi. Uh, it's one of those like open world sandbox, create your own story type of games uh, that I played... Well, I last played three years ago, but I first got into it, I want to say about eight or so years ago. This was this game came out or it was part of early access back when Steam had that whole green light feature. Um, I believe the game's since been released officially since then. Um, but I suddenly got the itch to play. So I don't know how long this series is going to go for or what's going to come of it, but um, we're going to see what happens. I will preface by saying that I am going to be using uh, an overhaul mod here called Kenshi Genesis. Um, this mod is stated to be uh, a, a Kenshi experience without straying too far from the original game's theme. So it looks like they try to take the vanilla experience and expand it in a way that makes sense according to the game's lore. It's been a while since I played in general, so this is probably going to feel pretty new to me. Um, and if this is your first time seeing Kenshi, this might not be the best representation of the vanilla game. But um, I'm excited to try it out. Okay, so as far as the beginning, I think I'll just go with the basic Wanderer. Playstyle, RPG, difficulty, default, start with $1,000 or 1,000 cats, as I believe that's the currency. You're just a lone Wanderer with nothing but a few coins, a pair of pants, and a rusty sword, ready to venture out into the world. This is the way the game is intended to be played. When I first started playing this game, as the game started coming out, uh, I was keeping up with some of the updates, and they were adding tons of new creatures and tons of biomes. So it was pretty exciting to see. Oh man, one thing I really remember about this game was some of the epic music that we had. Um, that kind of wanderlust music. But here we are at the character creation screen. As you can see, pretty in-depth, pretty customizable. In your body, face, the hair. A lot of, um, a lot of ways to change your, change your appearance. You also have multiple races to choose from. You got the humans. You got skeletons. I don't think this one has a head. Does he have a head? I don't know. Um... Skeleton MK. Oh, okay. Got some Sheks. I remember these guys. Got some Hive creatures. Holy smokes! This dude be tall. Um, you got the Southern Hive. Um, and there's multiple sub races to choose for some of the races as well. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run through here and and see what we can find. See what see what seems fun to play as. You know, I think for the purposes of this. I'm just gonna go with a, a regular human, right? We're gonna be good old, good old Kev dog here. Kev would be myself. This is this is gonna be myself in the world of Kenshi. Uh, so we'll be the human sub race Greenlanders, primarily from farmer cultures. They still tend to be an aggressive race and are easily led astray. The worst of them live in ignorance, knowing only greed and fear, reacting to anything different with hatred and violence. But the best of them are some of the greatest civilized scientists, engineers, and warriors in the world. So we're going to be a human Greenlander, male. And um, we'll go ahead and uh, pick a character. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, so <laughs> we're pretty, we're a pretty basic looking dude here, man. Not the best posture. Um, I guess this is us. As basic as you can be in this game, here we are. It looks like we got a stick. I think we're holding a stick of some sort, but um, this is good old Kev here. Here we go. Let's let's hop into it. Okay, so here we are, starting in the border zone. Um, from what I remember, yep, there's multiple things or multiple speeds you can play this game at. If I press the M key here. We have a map. Wow. I'm sure a lot of this is due to the the mod, but I don't remember there. The, I don't remember there being this many zones. This is pretty cool. You got the Dead Cat Plains, Darkfinger, Border Zone, the Swamp, Spider Plains, Desert. Lot to explore, and like I mentioned, this is one of those you know make your own sort of stories. So this is the town we're starting in, and this is the border. This is called the hub. I remember the hub. The hub was the hub. It was the main one of the main areas here. All right, looking at some of our stats here, we're not very skilled at anything. In fact, we're pretty weak in a lot of stats. Uh, more than just weak, 
we have negatives in certain skills such as weaponsmithing and engineering etc uh, but how this game works is you level up by doing the skill it's one of those the more you do it the more you you gain skill in it for example athletics your ability to run faster how do you raise your athletics well you run oh it tells you right here in the bottom left ways to train running fast with a light inventory subsequently you know you can raise your strength i believe by running with a heavy inventory yep wasted train using a heavier weapon carrying people or overloading inventory so i think what i'm gonna do in the beginning stages of this game just to refresh myself is take a walk around the town talk to some people uh and my first immediate goals is to make some money and try to get some recruits you can add people to your party one of the playthroughs I did many years ago, I remember, you know, having a town and I had a, a group of warriors and a group of laborers. I think for now we're just going to keep it as a small group. Maybe throughout the entire playthrough, I think that sounds pretty ideal to me. Looks like we got stuff already going on and my potato of a PC is having problems. But let me adjust some settings. Okay, back in it. <laughs> Things seem to be running a lot smoother now. This guy's saying, hey you, come drink with me. So, we can talk to people. This guy's name is Hobbs. Hob sounds very familiar. I feel like I might have talked to this person before in previous playthroughs. That's right, come sit with uh, come sit with me, have a drink. Hey, have you ever heard the story of the Wailing Banshee? Okay, so we got some dialogue uh, option here. I'm gonna say no, what's it about? Well, legend has it that it dwells in a sunken cave south of the Outlands. I don't even know where the Outlands are. Oh boy, uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. Once we become, once we become familiarized with the, oh, here we go. South of the Outlands, somewhere south. In a sunken cave south of the Outlands, I hear it has some bones made of solid diamond. Just one tooth would fetch you cabillions, no, poo billions, of cats. It has the gigantic tongue of a lusty tree hag and a marvelous pair of bingo wings that droop like smooth potato butter. Some even say that it has the snout a fondled truffle. Even the most handsomest of man warriors haven't been able to hunt the peppery thing down. I'm gonna say, that sounds amazing. How do I find this? If I knew that, I would have tracked it down myself. But if you're gonna head out in search of it, you must take me with you. Call it an old man's dying last wish. You're dying? What's wrong with you? Aren't we all slowly, slowly dying in this relentless dark world? Yes. And this dying man wishes to witness that diabolical monster with his own two eyes. They say that if you lick one of its pinky toes, then you'll gain the power of sweet, balmy immortality. This guy's searching for the fountain of youth, so to speak. And that true love smooch will transform the beast into a glorious man who will grant you all of your deepest munchies. Wise words. Join, join with me. Let's find it together. Hey, so we already got our first uh, party member here. We got our bro Hobbs. Okay. Well, we got our boy Hobbs here. So let's check out... Check out Hobbs' skills. Hobbs is definitely more skilled than us in many uh, many attributes. That was easy. We, we got a party member. Sounds sounds pretty great. Okay, so this game is kind of RTS-like. You can, you know, move, select characters uh, individually or as a group. So we'll, we'll stick around as a group for now. We got Gar of the Metalbone Pirates. Let's go. Let's go talk to Gar. R matey, I seem to be lost. Think you can help an old pirate out? You're a pirate. Be a blind? Look at me clearly, I'd be a pirate. This is one of those, um, those robots, right? But a lost one at that, dot dot dot. I'm from the East Coast, Gear Cove to be precise. It'd be an entire skeleton pirate town. How can I help? I'd be looking for the sea and me old crew. Well, we are pretty far from any sea. How about you join? Arr, do you have a lot of booty? Um, <laughs> that's a bit odd to ask. Arr, you know booty. Treasure? Oh, yeah, right, we have money. 10,000 and I should join your crew. Well, we don't have that sort of money yet, unfortunately. Pretty eventful so far. Let's keep on uh, exploring. If I remember correctly, there's a tavern nearby. Looks like people are... Looks like people are buying. They got like shops and stuff now. No, they've always had shops, but I don't remember them showing um, transactions happening. This guy's name is Double. Show me what you got. All right, so this guy's got food. And uh, if you can see, as you can see, we do have a hunger bar here. I believe to eat food, we just need to keep it in our inventory. Um, so we won't worry. Well, maybe maybe it won't hurt. We'll, we'll, we'll buy one for myself here. And we'll... Hobbs has food, so we didn't need to buy one. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the bar here. As as we get hungry, we eat. Um, I guess I bought myself a piece of bread. Um, looking forward to eating that. Got Bobbing Ham over here. Let's talk to Bobbing Ham. Looking to trade. Let's do business. So this guy's got some shirts. Some more food, gears, and water. 
Uh, one of the beauties about this game is you can play it at how you like. You can become a trader, you can become a bounty hunter, you can build your own base. Um, I think this mod's adding in like quests. I'm not sure if there were quests in the base game, or maybe they added some, but I'm sure there's quests you can do. So it's really um, however you want to play. There's, As you can tell by the map, there's a lot of zones, a lot of towns, a lot to explore, and you can trade goods from town to town. More of the same, just kind of random stuff here. Luxury goods, see, you got values and sell values, um, price markups, so you can have a lucrative career as a merchant. I think we want to go find a tavern here. So we got a lot of broken down buildings. I don't think there's a tavern here, now that I'm looking around. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so one thing I remember, what do we got here? We got a... We got some bandits running around. So one of the ways to, to make money, from what I remember, is to cherry pick in battles. And that's a way to gain, get your skill too, but... And I think this mod adds a lot of raids in battles, but... Sometimes your town, whatever town you're in, will be attacked by roaming parties of, say, bandits, for example. And what you can do is you can hop in, help the guards out, or let the guards duke it out with the bandits, and loot the corpses and take take uh take the inventory for yourself so let's 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 follow these bandits let's see where they're going it looks like they're coming around to the front so let's let's make our way over to the front here oh yeah we might we might be having ourselves a nice duel coming up okay so as you can see here we got some shinobi traders and thief bosses so the people of the town look like they're they're about to confront these guys do i have a weapon hobbs has no weapon and i have a weapon no, they're not going to be fighting. Oh, they are going to be fighting. Here we go. We'll go and attack the starving bandits. If I remember how to attack. Ah, okay. So you got to hold down the button to to do that. Okay, so we got some starving bandits. Let's um let's attack the bandits. Yeah, there we go. Cue, cue the destruction. Oh, seems to have uh, gone into the wall there. So this is a good way to try to get some skill as we, uh, you know, continue to progress. I remember this is a game of a pretty slow progression, so we got to uh, do what we can. And as you get hurt, depending on where you get hurt, it affects your character's ability to move around and, and do things as well. So we seem to be doing a good job, and we seem to be wiping out all the bandits. Battle seems to be won, so let's go ahead and loot here. But we're we're just gonna take, we're just gonna take everything. This is this is Kev here. Take it. we're just gonna take everything. Yeah, we need some boots for ourselves. I think Hobbs needs a weapon, so we'll give Hobbs this. We can see how much things are worth here, looking at values. So it's worth quite a bit. All right, so we're gonna run back into town um, and sell off some 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 of this loot. I think. Go ahead and talk to good old Peace here and sell off some stuff. All right, so we sold off some stuff, made a made a decent amount of change. So I, I, that's kind of how the game works. It's like rinse and repeat. Do what you can to make some money. Let's go out. Let's go back here and loot um, as much as we can. But go out, make some money, raise your skills. Um, generally, try to survive. If if these guards weren't here, we would have been destroyed. I'm pretty sure. Hop seems to have a pretty cool looking jacket. I think generally the way I play these games, if a unique NPC comes with his own kind of armor, like his own his own little style. I'll probably not not replace it for for a long while. Oh man, we're looking <laughs> we're looking we're looking really uh really colorful here, aren't we? All right, All right let's continue to uh, run around here and see if there's anyone else that we could be talking to. One thing I do want to pick up is some bandages. I don't believe it doesn't seem like there's much here in the hub as far as like bars and taverns and stuff. I do. I would like to get my hands on a cool looking straw hat at some point. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so one thing I know that you can do is when you are hurt, you can go to sleep. Um, and then you can accelerate time, for example. We, we can go on the, the max time and this will help regenerate um, your body parts as best as possible. I do know that it's possible to lose body parts in this game. For example, if your leg or your arm goes to like zero or something uh, and you can get implants mechanical implants and, and attachments to, to help that but um, well we'll take some time to rest up here while, while we can there's some free beds 
Another thing I'm noticing here is again, some of your attributes, depending on how skilled you are, plus your body stats, you, you can get minus attributes depending on certain conditions. Uh, for example, where you have a weapon indoors penalty here. And um, I'm sure here we have an injuries penalty. Yep, there we go. Uh, your attack speed and everything is also affected by these stats, so generally good to, to level up as much as possible. Okay, so while Hobbs and Kev have been relaxing, I've been kind of scouting the town via the map. Um, doesn't look like there's a bar or a tavern here. And um, I remember there being signs stating that yes, this is a tavern in, in other cities. So this looks to be a bare bones hub. Um, but I think we can we can stay here for a little bit. We got free beds, we got some vendors. Um, hopefully we'll see some more action if uh, some starving bandits or other parties come by. And uh, we can kind of make our, our start here. At the hub. One thing I want to do is go mine. Go mine to get our stats up and to make some money. We'll just mine some more and, and sell it to, to give us a baseline. See if we can recruit another companion here and then set out maybe to one of these towns. Oh, <laughs> I am uh, I'm foolish. There we go. We got our bar. So we're going to head into the bar after we're all rested up here. Okay, it seems this is as far as we can rest. It's saying your stomach needs bandaging, but it's not urgent. I wonder if these will go up on its own, or if we actually really do need to, to bandage up here. Oh my god, this guy is... Ah, ah, yes. As you can see, <laughs> this poor dude, Slink, the starving bandit, he's dead. Look at that pool of blood, holy smokes. But you can see he lost his left leg. It went to minus 100. This limb is gone forever, and if we zoom in, <laughs> the leg is not attached. We could pick up the leg if we wanted to. I just took this guy's leg. God dang! All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that. I don't want the leg. Um, I am gonna loot him though. Just cause why not? Can I dual wield? It'd be pretty cool if I can. Um, we'll take this to sell. This is this is this is life in the Kenshi world, from what I remember. I think this sums it up pretty clearly. You fight, you die, you lose limbs. People take your stuff. Because everyone's just trying to survive. All right, let's <laughs> let's hop into the bar. Let's see what we can find here. Welcome, customer. Thank you. All right, we got Dale the barkeep here. Let's trade. Oh man, this guy's got a lot of stuff. All right, so this guy has some first aid kits. How much are these before I buy? 153 cats. I'm gonna buy one for myself, one for Hobbs. Um, and we can train up our, as we get hurt, we can train up our first aid as well. Field Medic. The skill saves lives and allows you to stop uh, bleeding on wounds and jury rig critical injuries. Okay, so not bad for our first, um, our first day, I feel like. We'll, uh, we'll heal each other. Good. I think, um, yeah, there it is. We're in the process of healing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be saving continuously just so I don't lose these files in case something happens with the mod and, and the base game. Adventurer headhunter looking for some folks to recruit? What's your price? You are mistaken. I am from the Adventurer's Guild. I am offering you my service, which is to find recruits for you. Ah, I see then. In that case, I'd like to use your Oh, let's well, ask, where do you find these recruits anyway? These are desperate times, my friend. Dozens of desperate peasants, drifters, and ronins sign up with us every day. We have a long list of clients, slavers, tech hunters, and even the big guys like Holy Nation and United Cities Nick would need a quick boost of fresh recruits for their war effort from time to time. What makes your recruits special? Nothing really. They're not given special training or anything, but the moment these people came to us, they signed the rights of neutrality. Oh boy. We promise them shelter and food, and in return, they must fully let go of the past and work with whoever their employers are. This pact is transferred to the employer too. Despite this pact, though, the recruits do not uh, do charge us a specific sum to help let go of their past. Should you employ them, they will not hold any grudges against you, even if you killed their parents. But you are also responsible to provide them with food and roof to sleep under. Well then, let's just say you'll find it much harder to get more recruits. Oh, I asked if I. What if I don't have a roof or something? You know how this works, right? Can't say that I, I am familiar. No problem. You pay a standard headhunting fee and we will send the folks that are looking for a job to your base. Are you still interested? No, I don't have that kind of money then. Let's talk to this robot. Masaru. Are you recruiting if so? I'm available for 3,000 cats. Um, I don't have that much money right now. Not at the moment. Gar. Our, oh, there's the pirate. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the money for this guy yet. Um, Let's go up to the next floor. I remember there's a button. I think it's a, it's a page up. Okay, so we have beds to use here. 
We can purchase those for 25 cats. Hey, yeah, you, come here. What do you want? I'm tired of stealing just to survive. This is Gustavsen. I want out. This isn't the life I was meant to have. How can I help? After fleeing from my homeland, the Avalon Isles. I'm assuming the Avalon Isles are an isle. Island. Oh, here we go. The Avalon Isles. So we're learning more about the map as we talk to folks. I eventually ended up here. Before I knew it, I was tricked into a thieving ring, and now I'm in debt to uh, in debt to their leader. Now you want uh, you want me to pay off that debt and come work for me instead? Yes, I'm a decent thief and know my way around a sword. I'm worth the eight thousand cat debt. Sorry, I don't have that kind of money right now. People are expensive. What do you have? Ever need help smoothing things over with the hounds? You know where to find me. Oh, okay. This guy's name is Zoo, or Gal. I want Zoo. Hey, you got cats? I'm broke. Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, okay, like I mentioned, I think our plan is to go mine, so I'm gonna go scout for a good mining spot. These look relatively close to the hub. Um, oh, here we go. This one right here, what do we got? We got iron. Relatively close to the opening in case anything goes goes wonky. Let, let's head out there first. Poor guy. So as you can see, Hobbs is running a lot slower than good old Kev here. Um, looking at their stats, dexterity is a three. Uh, no, we want to look at athletics. He's got a 13 athletics. I only got 11, but his inventory is... He's got a lot more in his inventory than I do. So we'll uh, come out here. We'll go mine. Okay, so I'm just going to be... Uh, I'm going to be fast forwarding here as I mine. and um, Oh man, this is going to go real slow, ain't it? But um, you can see our progress to get one raw iron. Um, and I'm on the max speed right now, kind of fast forwarding. So this is going to take a while. I'll catch y'all when I have some updates. Oh, side note, you can see the efficiency here for mining this. East efficient right now, probably due to our skill, but we also don't have um, all the workers that we can on this node. Here we are, just, uh, just mining away. We've already got two iron, looking pretty good so far. Keep on working, boys. Oh, snap, you scared the crap out of me. That's a scavenger. Um, doesn't seem hostile to us thus far. Yep, they're just going on their way. All right, but that we gotta look out for uh, for wandering folks. I, I didn't do a great job because at this level we definitely get destroyed. All right, as you can see here, um, each iron raw iron is worth about sixty cats, so it'll be slow going, but we we gotta make some money. Um, with 3,000 we can hire that one dude at the bar and we'll have even more people to mine him. Um, it's that we're investing in ourselves in our future. Oh, snap. We got some dope music going on right now. Still mining here, but as you can see, in real time as we're mining, Kev's laboring skill as well as, um, good old Hobbs over here, his laboring skill is going up as well. So this uh, skill at general manual labor work, such as mining and using civil machinery, um, and affects our good old mining speed. So not the best. Waste to train. Work hard. We're going to keep doing that. Keep working hard, boys. I believe in you. Oh, snap. We are getting attacked. I was too slow to realize, but we got a starving bandit running up on us. So I'm going to attempt to, to run away. Run. Run, boys. Run. Just keep running. Run to the safety of the gates. <laughs> go! Oh snap, here we go. Let's um... There's no guards out here. Where are the guards? We're gonna run to the bar. Hopefully people in the bar can keep us safe. Oh snap, I didn't realize. They're getting destroyed. Okay, we got some we got some allies now. We're just gonna uh We're just gonna go in and attack these starving bandits with our with our newfound friends here. So we're we're hurt decently bad here. But um we got we got power in numbers. There we go. Putting in some good work against these bandits. Oh man, he's attacking him while he's down. Okay, ganging up. Let's go help, uh, let's go help out our friends over here. Dang, this is a big freaking battle, isn't it? We got a bunch of, uh... Actually, no, it looks like, it looks like all the hub is finishing off these, um, people over here. 
Okay, so we can tell who's an enemy by hovering over with our cursor and it'll just turn red. Let's go. All right. That was uh that was a doozy. So we're going to have we're going to we're going to let's heal each other up here real quick. Make sure um we're good to go and so that was something I was supposed to keep an eye out um for people who are uh, attacking us. Obviously, I did not do a great job of that. Uh, as a side note, I am saving pretty um, liberally here. Again, trying to keep my files safe. I don't plan to like save scum or whatever. Uh, if that's the correct term. If, if something happens, if Kev were to die or Hobbs were to die, well, if Kev were to die, he's, he's the main character of our story here, but uh, say if Hobbs were to die here, I'm, I'm not gonna backtrack and, and reload a pass save. Scout's honor. You know how it goes. Healed up pretty well. Back to mining. Um, and this time, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for any roaming bandit parties. Gotta stay vigilant. Death is around every corner. Well, day has turned to night here at the hub. I wish my graphics were better, so, I mean, I'm sure it looks beautiful with better graphics and stars and everything. I might, I might, I might up the graphics at, at, a, at, a, at another time and play around, but, um, making good progress, about to get our ninth. Uh, raw iron here and um, continuing on. I just noticed that there is a small copper resource here. So I'm going to have Hobbs, we're going to split, but I'm going to have Hobbs mine the copper there. Um, I'm sure copper is probably worth a little bit more, maybe. We'll see. But we're diversifying almost into day three. And I think we're making some pretty good progress if I do say so myself. All right, full inventory of iron ore sold. Feels pretty good. Now, oh, the copper is worth a little bit more than um than the iron so we'll stay here they're running they're running like like ninjas in naruto i'm sure these guys are probably tougher than your normal starving bandits but we're gonna run up here and see if we can help out uh, if anything collect some loot help out our fellow uh hub members oh snap it's just us against this guy hey we got him very nice oh snap kev got smacked we got the power of numbers though I believe in you boys. You can do it. We're getting some hits in. I feel pretty good. Pretty good about this. Oh, he went flying. Okay, I think that covers everything. We did pretty good. We could also level our first aid by healing up some of our friends here. But it looks like they got that covered. Well, let's, let's worry about looting. Let's, let's, let's get as much money as we can and recruit the pirate. I want the pirate. I think that's the plan. So we're at 3.3 cats right now. Up to 4,000 cats now. Holy smokes, this guy. This girl, I think. She looks like a beast though. I do not want to attack, that's for sure. You got some cool looking armor. Oh, that's a big weapon. I like it. Yeah, that's what you get, son. Now I'm gonna take your stuff. This guy was using a femur club. <laughs> he is straight up using a bone. What a beast. Savage. Oh, this guy is playing dead. This person has regained consciousness but is staying down, waiting for all the enemies to leave the area. What a cheeky guy. Uh, Kev just picked up some, some boots. I think we're gonna replace our sandals with those. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. I wonder if there's like a quick auto sell. Oh, right click. There we go. I am a genius. Alright, so we, we bled Dale the barkeep dry of uh, goods, um, of, of money. So, uh, we're at, sitting at 8.6 thousand. Let's go find another vendor to sell to then. Look at that hair. His nice hair. Can I recruit you? No, I can't. Okay, we've made some good progress. Only a couple more bodies to go. And, um, we'll have enough money to recruit that pirate. All right, look at us. We have 12,000 cats. Um, I'm feeling pretty loaded. Let's go find that pirate. You have a lot of booty? bit audacity. We have money. Welcome aboard Gar. <laughs> He's a skeleton. Subray skeleton MK1. MKI. MK1. The skeletons are a complete mystery. Nobody knows where they came from and how they were made, but they are suspected to be thousands of years old. Fully sentient and capable of feeling sadness, anger, excitement, compassion, thrill, and enjoyment. Although they don't possess the ability to express anything visually. This combined with their dry sense of humor often confuses the other races, whom the skeletons see as somewhat volatile and unpredictable. They have no prejudice or fear of death and make for brutally effective warriors. 
All right, we got ourselves good old Gara here. Yep, we'll just confirm as is. Welcome to the party, man. How you doing? What you what you got on you? Okay, so this guy is a ranged man. We'll keep him. Uh, we'll keep him in the back, and he'll do some ranged stuff. He can't wear a helmet or a shirt or boots. Um, but he can wear some. Oh, we should have saved some armor. <laughs> we should have saved some for him, but that's all good. And uh, yeah, skeleton repair kit. So this is what you use to heal up your skeletons. Sounds pretty amazing here. So we got the crew. <laughs> Look at this group. Look at this group. Tell me, have you never seen a more fiercer group than Kev, Hobbs, and Gar? I think we made some good progress. Day three, we got Hobbs and Gar on the crew. Still have some spare change. Probably gonna go back to mining just to, you know, just to do that, but... Feeling pretty good. Oh man, Gar is a beast. Look at his stats. Compared to, compared to Hobbs and, and myself. Hobbs and Kev. He is... Kev has minus toughness right now. <laughs> it's gonna take a beating. Alright, Gar. Glad to have you aboard. <laughs>